When I came to the Balanced View training, before I came to the Balanced View training, I was always trying to quiet my mind. I mean, all that under matter that was constantly going on, always maybe criticizing myself or others, or um, yeah, just basically, like all the time, these thoughts and, and, and considerations going on. And I thought I need to quiet my mind in order to feel at ease and have well-being. And I tried many things. I tried, and I, sometimes I was successful to quiet my mind maybe for two minutes, three minutes, that was it maybe. But I couldn't keep on quieting my mind. I couldn't keep on trying to get rid of my thoughts and emotions and sensations. And I tried so many things. And so I was so relieved when I came to the Balance You training that I don't need to quiet my mind, that I can just allow everything to be as it is. I don't need to try to get rid of the under matter that is going on. I don't need to try to get rid of my negative data streams, negative data streams that I wanted to always get rid of, like sadness or um, anger, depression, jealousy. What else is negative? We, it depends. We all have our, our own maybe take on the labeling of negative. But um, I, I try to really get rid of all these things and, and then to come to a, a teaching like this where I was introduced to a way of relating to all my thoughts, emotions, and sensations, which we just simply call data in the Balanced View training, to get a tool that I could just allow them to be as they are, without needing to reject them, or accept them, or do anything with them, just allowing them to be as they are. Letting data be as they are goes beyond rejecting or accepting anything goes beyond avoiding or no, nothing like that. We're just allowing it to be as it is. When a thought arises, we don't need to try to get rid of it, avoid it, replace it or indulge it. We just simply let it be as it is and through a short moment, we rest body and mind completely. In the immediacy of the perception of this data arising, there's complete freedom because we have a choice in that moment how we want to deal with the data stream. So we choose, what we discover in the Balanced View Training is a way to choose to let data be as they are. For a simple short moment of recognizing that the basis of all data streams is open intelligence, the ground of our being, the power to know, open intelligence. And we can introduce ourselves to open intelligence very simply by just stopping thinking for a moment and recognizing what remains. What remains when we stop thinking for a moment? We, we recognize there's something alert about our experience, something that is cognizant, something that hears the words that I'm, I'm saying, something that hears the, the voices over there, the birds. That is open intelligence, always present, always stable. It is inseparable from all our data streams. It is inseparable from all the under matter that is going on in our mind. Open intelligence and data are inseparable. That is a key point to recognize. Like the color blue in the sky is inseparable from the sky. So our, all our data streams, no matter what they are, no matter how we label them as positive, negative and neutral. And neutral are just any data stream that, I don't know, like brushing your teeth maybe and you don't have any, you know, some, some data we would label maybe positive that we really like, some we label negative that we don't like and some we don't really care so much about that you can call neutral, nothing that has any charge in and of itself in that way. So the, the whole array of data stream that is going on every day in our mind stream, I mean, anything can come up. But the key is to recognize open intelligence in short moments. Whenever we remember to do so, we just stop thinking for a moment. But the goal is not, and that's another key point, not to try to stop thinking for long stretches. We don't need to try to not have any thoughts, because we will always have a next thought coming in. And then we see, oh wow, that's also the basis is op open intelligence. There's nothing wrong with any thought, nothing wrong with any emotion, any experience. 
all is perfect as it is and we just m more and more recognize that that there's nothing to do with all the experience that we have all the data streams all the perceptions that are coming up they just arise they're there for a while and then they self-release we don't need to do anything for them to self-release I always thought I need to work on myself work on my data streams in order to for them to release but now I see I can just completely relax it doesn't matter anymore what data stream arises as it's my entry point to recognize open intelligence recognizing open intelligence in the midst of all data stream so after the introduction to open intelligence and recognition of open intelligence for a short moment we, we come to see that we can naturally get more and more familiar with relying on open intelligence in our everyday life no matter where we are, no matter what background we, we have no matter what data stream arises in our life we can allow that it to be as it is and recognize open intelligence as the basis of our perception rather than all the description of, of, of the perception as our basis of relying on it that I used to do always and I was like swirled around by my data streams all the time because I felt like this, I thought like that and going with all the data streams I never felt settled at all I didn't feel at ease with my experience I didn't feel at ease with the undermutter in my head now I just, I don't care anymore what goes on in the undermutter I don't really notice it anymore in that way there's an ease inseparable with that and that's such a relief that I don't need to listen to anything anymore I rely on what is always present in my experience because the undermatter is not stable, it's always changing it's nothing that I can rely on at all but open intelligence that is always present in my experience that's what I can rely on it's always stable and always allows me to see what is of most benefit allows me to stay clear in the midst of everything arising even if the undermutter gets loud and noisy and annoying there's complete clarity it doesn't distract us anymore from what is really needed in each moment we are also capable to know and be clear in each moment what is of most benefit in each circumstance we all have the capacity to be completely clear and that's amazing that I found really really profound when I came to this teaching because I, I, I thought I need to really really work hard to really get into a state of of complete ease I didn't know that it was already present as everything as every emotion every thought and that's what we come to see we just come to see we got more and more comfortable within everything within all experiences, more and more ease we feel more and more ease with, with, yeah, with basically everything that arises even if we feel like the data around money coming up that's such a perfect training ground to really relax deeply completely relax with all experience that, that, that I found so amazing for my, in my experience the feeling of, you know something is lacking in my life I need more of it and um, then I feel happy and at ease so it's amazing to see it could be money it could be a relationship it could be a job anything I need some certain circumstance in place and then I can relax and now I say wow I can in relax in the midst of it all and then I have complete clarity to see clearly about my money situation I've never been so clear on my money and financial situation as now I was always so vague I didn't even know what I had on my bank account and yet I felt I didn't have money no matter if I had money or not that was amazing for me to see wow the scene that wow there's so many data streams arising <clears throat> and now to have complete ease and then complete clarity over that and then also seeing what is of most benefit also implementing steps if needed and discernment clarity and, and seeing how I can support myself completely it's amazing and that that's just now in the example of money but it's in all areas of my life I just feel so clear in, in how to to be of most benefit to myself and others and um, 
And that's always deepening. It's just continuously deepening. So it's a, an ongoing familiarization with open intelligence that is just ever deepening. And um, so to really familiarize ourselves with open intelligence, we have all the tools set in the, um, the balanced view training. We have like a complete support system that will always allow us to come back to the instinctive recognition of open intelligence. When we feel like we, we cannot integrate it into our everyday life, we can rely on the four mainstays. Four mainstays, is one is the, the first one is the short moments practice, taking a short moment whenever we remember to do so, relaxing body and mind completely. We can rely on that wherever we are, whatever we are doing always, it's in our pocket forever. We can take short moments wherever we are. That's so brilliant. And then we have trainings and open meetings like this, trainings online, but also face-to-face -face that really deepening that recognition and allows us to get more and more familiar with open intelligence in our everyday life, specific to our everyday life circumstance. And we can have a, um, can be in touch with a trainer that will just support us directly also to bring us back to that recognition again and again, who shares their experience of open intelligence. I thought that was so inspiring for me to see that it's really possible that we um, can take complete responsibility for our data stream, that we are not at the whim of our data any longer. My data used to rule my day, like if I was sad when I woke up in the morning, that was the tone of the day. I'm sad and then it popped up all the day. Now it's not anymore the focus of my attention, the data stream. It's open intelligence, complete ease and well-being in each moment, no matter what the data stream says, <laughs> no matter what it, what it is. Ah, oh, it's, it's such a freedom, such a freedom, not be ruled by data stream any longer. And we have a whole community, which is the fourth mainstay stay that can support us and seeing like, wow, we really can live as that. We can completely live in, in complete ease and harmony with ourselves and others. It's such a demonstration to see it. It was so inspiring for me to see that it actually works. So I really saw that in my own direct experience, but in so many others as well. And so to, to use the whole set of the four mainstays to more and more get familiar with open intelligence integrated into our everyday life is so um, it was so important for me because the instinctive recognition that the was was clear after being introduced but I always wondered how can I keep it up when I'm not in India or when I'm not with with the community and then to have a complete tool set that will just allow me to um, yeah, to bring it wherever I go, that I didn't have to be in a certain circumstance in order to rely on open intelligence. Oh, that was so freeing, so freeing. So we can really, um, yeah, it, it, it's really so um, powerful, this one simple, simple change in, in how we use our mind. It's just like for me, it was just like a simple shift in how I perceived things that just made all the difference in my life, completely. It just turned my life completely around. And, and, and allowed myself to just get used to that, to get familiar with that way of perceiving my data stream. doesn't mean that the data streams necessarily change. It's just the way we perceive them and that results in complete ease and clarity and benefit. We are naturally, we know what is of most benefit in each moment. We can rely on open intelligence to really allow that to come to the fourth in our direct experience. So, so, so simple and it's so um, great to test it out in your own direct experience.